welcome to Martin Made. My name is Stephanie and today we're roasting a turkey. So like I said, we are going to be roasting a turkey and I wanted to bring you along and show you how I roast the turkey in our home. And I usually roast turkey about two to three times in the winter. And I use turkey for more than just like Thanksgiving dinner and things like that. So I roast up my turkey and then I use it for casseroles and for like you know, chicken pot pies and things like that, only I use turkey in it um, instead. And so I use turkey so much throughout the winter months. And so I'm gonna show you how I roast my turkey and make it all nice, brown and crispy on the outside. So let's go ahead and get started. So to roast a turkey, you need a baster and a thermometer, and of course, a turkey. I have a stuffed turkey here and with a stuffed turkey you do need to rinse it for about three to five minutes before you get started on anything. Now once you are finished rinsing your turkey, you're going to want to make sure you check the back of the bag of the turkey so that you know how many hours to cook it. This is very important. Once you know that, you can rip the bag open and you can put your turkey right into your roasting pan. Now I like my turkey breast down because it makes all the meat nice and juicy. You can do whatever you like. You'll need to cover the top and the bottom for at least the first hour with foil. And then you'll need to put about two cups of water in the roasting pan with the bird. Then a whole stick of butter right on top. You wanna set your oven for 325 and let it preheat. Once it is preheated, put your roaster in without the lid. Once the butter has melted, so you've gotta keep a close eye on it, make sure that you pull it out and that you put the lid on it. The key to a beautiful turkey is basting. A beautiful turkey will have a crispy outside and a juicy inside. And how I achieve that is I take and baste it every 30 minutes. So I baste it, put it back in, set the timer for 30 minutes, and do it again. And again. And again. Now part way into cooking it, I like to add a little bit more butter every once in a while. Just keep an eye on the juices, see if you need any more. And of course, keep basting it. And then that final time when you pull that lid off and the temperature is 180 degrees, you have a crispy outside and a beautiful juicy inside that is so delicious. Now what I like to do is I like to just pull apart the turkey just shortly after it's come out of the oven. We're not really big into carving turkeys, so we just pull it apart, put it onto the platter. I use all the extras that are left after the meal for soups and pot pies and casseroles. So yummy. Then it's ready for the table. I'm going to leave it right here and I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you next time. That's perfect. Heavenly Father, thank you for the day that you've given to us. Thanks for taking care of us. Thank you for providing this food. We pray that you will bless it to our bodies. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I got, I got.